Hey guys, t here. Today we're going to look at a replay of the T3 Dene. It's uh, part of the British cruiser line. I have maybe one or two more uh, beginner tutorial videos that I'm going to make here, but if you have any other topics that we haven't covered yet that you want to see covered, please leave me a note in the comments so I can check that. I think I've covered a lot of the topics that'll kind of give you the, a solid foundation but if there's any other kind of parts of the game that you think we need a deeper dive on, please let me know. Uh, so here you want to focus on my deployment to start with. It's a really bad deployment. It kind of took me a little longer to realize that my team was going the wrong way. Or not the wrong way. I wasn't staying with my team, which is a problem. You're not going to win a lot of one-on-two, one-on-three, one-on-four fights in this game. So... Even though I like to exert map control to the best that I can in every single game, it's not going to always happen. I can't reliably hold this flank by myself. So even when I'm asking for help here, I should be turning around. But I was feeling a little stubborn when I was playing the game. Just keep in mind you're going to come out of this live maybe 1 out of 20 times at the best. I mean, this is a low-tier game, so I'm going against... Uh, Presumably newer players. There might be some more experienced players mixed in, but as you go up the kind of the tiers, this is going to be more and more of a risky play. So just try and stick with your team as best you can. So first off, we spot out St. Louis here. It's gonna. And then we got his buddy here. I'm gonna try and send the torpedoes. It's right at that coom or whatever that is, but they're aimed at the St. Louis's trajectory. So I do have incoming torpedoes. This is how you want to ideally deal with them, speed up and then turn into them. Makes dodging them not necessarily easy, but that's going to give you the best chance. Alternatively, you can turn away from them. What you don't want to do is what that guy did, stay sideways. Now there's going to be a lot of situations where you don't have the speed or your rudder is not in position to turn properly and you're just gonna have a hard time. <laughs> There's no way around it. But to, to get better at avoiding torpedoes, just practice turning into them. It's gonna give you your best chance. So here we go, the Kuma's presenting his broadside to us. We're angled pretty well at him. And we're just gonna ring citadels left and right. We got six so far. Pull up a couple more and He's done. And here we got a little cleanse in here. I'm assuming he's trying to torpedo me. He's not really shooting at me. So, uh, torpedoes in a cruiser, you want to use them mainly defensively. At least that's how I prefer to use them. Here I'm just throwing them in the water to give them something else to think about. I don't know if it's a feature, but it's a aspect of the British cruiser line. They don't have HC shells, so... I definitely prefer to be shooting HE here, but that's not an option. Fortunately for me, he's pointing mostly towards me, which kind of negates the downside of using AP against a destroyer. Why you want to use HE is because typically you're going to have over penetrations when you're shooting at them sideways, which is going to leave you with a 10% damage shot instead of a 100% damage shot. But if they're facing directly at you or away from you, the shot won't go through the ship. It will explode before it makes it all the way from the front to the back. See what I'm saying? So if you're shooting sideways, you only have to go through a very small portion of the ship. Front to back, you have to go the entire length, so it's going to explode. Now here this guy, I assume he thought I didn't see him, or I, <laughs> I don't know. I shot torpedoes at him, he didn't move, so I held on to my shot. A lot of times, when you have torpedoes in the water, shooting at someone, whether they suspect you have torpedoes or not, shooting at them is going to cause them to move, either trying to angle their armor towards you or to run away or who knows what. But it's... I don't know how often it happens. It's rare. It's more rare to see someone continue in a straight line, at least at close range, than... I don't know. I don't know what percentage people 
alter their course. But the my point is, if you have torpedoes going at someone, shooting them may spook them. So consider in your mind, do I want to shoot them or not? Now, shooting them with HE, if you can set them on fire, get them to burn their damage control party, and then have the torpedoes hit and have a full duration flood on their ship, well, that's going to be devastating. So those are kind of the two plays you want to wade. Do I want to spook the guy and maybe have him turn, or can I possibly set him on fire and wreck his game? And just looking at the... The British cruisers in general, as of right now, they ended tier 3 and they branch off into the battleship, so you don't have to deal with them for too long. I suspect they're going to introduce the full 7 tiers at some point. And just as a quick aside, I've been doing a little bit of looking into it, and I believe that the intention of Wargaming is to like keep it a 7 tier tech tree instead of a 10 tier tree. That's how they've, according to what I've read from the developers, they're saying that's how they've balanced the game and they'd have to rework a lot of things, which I kind of suspect they're not inclined to do. It may happen a ways down the line, but it's certainly not going to happen soon, is my point. Like a lot of the tier 7s are tier 8 and 9s on the PC, so just a heads up in case you're hoping for a tier 10 soon, I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> But playing these uh, British cruisers, it's it's an adjustment. I think they're a lot harder than the other two um, countries that we started off with, just because you don't have HE and long range. That can be difficult. Ideally, if you're shooting long range, you want to shoot at broadside targets and you want to aim up a little higher because you want the shell to rain down through the deck and penetrate the ship that way. You're not going to have a lot of success penetrating ships through the side at range with these armor piercing rounds. It's just the the way it is. <laughs> so anyway, that's a look at the Danae. The Danae. Um, if you like the game, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I want to hear your thoughts on the ship and the British cruiser line in general, so leave those below. And we'll see you guys all later. Alright, peace.